Good morning, this is Navy Old Salt Gamer. Uh, I've been waiting for this game to come out. Obviously by my title, Navy Old Salt Gamer, I'm a, a retired Navy, U.S. Navy Chief. So this is, game has been interesting on my wish list for a while. I did do a run through, uh, reserve judgment. I will state that it didn't go well. <laughs> so let's try this next one and see if there's something I did not very broad right here. So um, you don't have too much of a selection of it is early access. You got to remember that this is just turned you. So that's the one I used last time. Somehow it knows my name, Elander. Must be something from Steam. Include hat. Okay. Now I used the rowboat first. Oh, and settings. It didn't save anything. So mouse and keyboard. That's down to 30. So I used the rowboat last time, and then I found out you can go, and you can hold shift to go a little faster. You can go into the boat here, the shipyard, and go to the computer. Oh, I only have 10,000 this time, so I have to do a mission. That's right, I did a mission first. So you do have to use the rowboat the first time to earn some money. So you go over here. And you go to the office, and I have one mission to deliver medicine. So, and now I'm on a rowboat, so you're not going to have a whole ton of missions, that's for sure. So you go over here, and there's your medicine. You pick that up. Go down to your boat. It's much easier with the settings on the mouse turned way down. So then you board your boat and you're ready to go. Now I'm going to back out. That's as far back as I can go. So we'll hit undock. Let's go backwards here. are okay. They're a lot like uh, fishing Barents Sea and then fishing North Atlantic. A lot like that. Okay, so let's slow down and turn. Let's see. If you watch the bearing, you see it is turning at the top there. It is turning slowly 
turning. So it might be quicker if I just stopped and did one jerk and then hold the other key because you tend to oversteer when you do that. There we go. I missed what it said. There's something about a fishing habitat. pushing me because I am holding the right turn and I'm being pushed to the left. I should use port and starboard. I'm holding turn to starboard and I'm being pushed to port. <laughs> it is correcting now. Okay. Delivery area. That means I have to go to the dock. That's where I drop things off. So let's go over here first. Oh, too much. There we go. Now, in my last run through, I will say, unfortunately, and I have to be honest, the game did crash. And that was with a boat. And uh, I exited, I hit F to exit the driving uh, steering section of the boat, the, uh, the, the inner boat basically. Alright, reduce speed to dock and dock T. Boat dock. Exit boat. Okay, and I should have my package, I do, so. Delivery area and in place, and you completed the mission. I got 20,000. Now, the last mission I had gave me 45, and I could buy a boat right away. <laughs> so, I'm already kind of disappointed. <laughs> now, do I have to go back to the same place? Congratulations, go back to the office. So, I do have to go back to the office. Now, I don't know what I did different last time, but I didn't get the tutorial. Teleport. You can teleport back to port if you row back to port yourself. You can gain 150... Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get the experience for now. Oh, you know what? On the video, I'll teleport. Boat docked. Yeah. Since, since we're... Uh, in a mission or in a video here, I'll teleport back to save some time. Obviously, it would have been better to repair a sea marker. The sea marker broke down. Repair it. Payment. Okay, what do I have to do? I need tools to repair it. Interesting. Accept mission. Repair the sea marker. You need some tools for this mission. Go to the next office. Okay. In the shop, you can buy various tools and equipment, spare parts, receive markers. The fuse and the light bulb may be broken. So buy one of each a fuse and a light bulb and a power drill. Tools. Power drill. One. Purchase. Fuse. That looks like a milk jug. <laughs> Fuse and a light bulb. Purchase. Okay, so I got everything I need. Alright, so let's go. And where's my marker? Where's my marker? Oh, way back there. Okay. Uh, undock T. 
speed up. I'm still steering starboard, but I'm not going starboard. But I'm okay. If anything, I'm going to port. We can stop. And there's currents and stuff, so that's okay. I understand that. Okay, am I far enough? Let's see if I can speed up and go by this pier now. So in my last video, I started with different weather conditions. It was rough. This is much better. <laughs> so I guess it's a random starting factor. Okay, so now I gotta turn this way to support. Where are we? There it is, okay. Stop steering, stop steering. as I go here, but I think they need to adjust this a little bit. They should be able to turn much better while you're going forward. What you do is you just pull a little harder on one oar than the other one. But I'm go I'm got the F and A key pushed steady here, and I'm not turning the way I want to turn. And now, when you do it singular or singularly. It kind of overreacts. I wonder if I tap the video, tap the AK. Nope. That's better. Okay, but I think we're on course now. That looks like the light that's broken right there, maybe. Alright, let's speed up, see if I can get there. And again, I'm drifting to starboard. A little, not too bad. Is it this one or is it the further one away? Does it have a 118 meters? Okay. If you look at the compass at the top, it tells you how far you are from it. So it's probably the further one. I'm going to hit the shift key, speed up here a little bit. Yeah, it's this one. Switcher, speed switcher, circuit breaker, replace circuit. Alright. Color switcher. Change light color to green. Change light color. Okay, I'm incredibly colorblind. Did that change it to green? 
set light blinking speed to one third. Great job, okay. Close the door. That was kind of fun. Two thousand, twenty thousand. Okay, now I have enough for the boat. The bigger, the bigger boat. Okay, how do I climb down? Disembark. Okay, E. And again, I'm going to teleport. I would rather get the experience, but for the sake of the video, we'll teleport. Exit boat. I think I should have enough for the first. I think it was 45 for the first level boat. So let's go to the shop. Buy a jigger to continue. Okay, so I don't know if I can do that. The hand jigger juice for fishing in small bow. I don't want to do that right now. We're going to enter the office. Nope. Okay. So, I wonder if it won't let me buy the ship. It looks like it might. Because I'm in the tutorial. Switch boats. Boats. For sale. 44. I can buy it. Hold the buy. One, two... Okay, so I got a boat. So now all I have to do, I can rename it if it has a name. Let's see if I, I can rename it. Uh, active boat. Vessel details. And we'll name it Inter. One. And what's this do? I don't want to sell it. I can't add anything because I don't have any money. So that'll work. I renamed it. Where's the name? Where's the name? Oh boy. Can you change the color? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Is it underneath? 
open door. Watch it be underneath my boat here. <laughs> Undock. Okay, so I'm going to turn the engine off on this for a second. And I'm going to change camera view. Is the boat here? No. So I guess I can use this. We'll find out. Go back to your boat and we'll find a suitable place to fish. So, enter fish habitat. It looks like I can still do it. Start boat. Let's turn on engine. Okay, so where is the little blue marker? Way out there. Okay. Oh, I'm going backwards. Okay, much easier to steer. I don't like how the thing is right in front of you. Can't really see where you're going. Let's open her up here. Looks like a whole whopping five knots. I'm at max speed here with five knots. And the seas are still much calmer than the last uh, time I did this video, so this is pretty good. Shift does not speed you up with a boat. I think I can zoom in on this. No, I can't. I don't know. Is it maybe... Is that six? A little hard to read. Might be eight knots. I'm not sure. Seabed. Okay, so I didn't reel it out on the way, did I? What happened? Let's try that again. Cast until you hit the seabed. Okay, so 
so apparently I'm on the seabed. So the circles are going to hold the wheel until you get to see that click mouse button when circles are green. Uh, hold mouse button to reel in fish. Okay, okay. So I did not do that right. Alright, so go E. Then hit the bottom. Well, where are the circles? I don't see any circles.
menos Still reeling out. The line's disappearing. Oh. I didn't notice that before. So now I'm on the bottom.
station marker here. It's to reel out until your lure hits the bottom of the seabed. Am I missing something there? Mouse player, interact zone, boat, search, no. Fishing is a bit difficult unless I'm doing something wrong. Trying different methods here. Seabed by holding the left mouse button. I didn't see that. Let's try this. Hold the left mouse button. <laughs> okay. I'm clicking it when it's green. can't 
push it there.
It's either a big fish or fishing is tough. see it a little bit on the video but slow process So I have to catch two more fish, but I think I'll, I'll leave that in the video. It's a little tricky learning curve, which is actually a kind of a good thing. So <coughs> I guess it automatically put my fish in the hole because I don't see it. I don't know where I put the fish. But there you go. I caught one fish. Um, I think that was about 45 minutes an hour or so. Uh, the first time I ran the game, I have to admit I was disappointed. It crashed. Uh, there is a learning curve. Uh, it did send a crash report to them, so maybe they'll... And it is early access. You just have to take into account. Is there a way to save this at 5? Save game. I would recommend saving it. And important places which makes sense 
because it did crash and I lost my whole career, which was only short. But I bought this boat. So I guess that'll be it for this first video. Um, first impressions. Pretty fun. It's it's a, a pretty steep learning curve. The rowboat is hard to steer, which is probably intentional. Uh, but it should be more interactive when it comes to pu pushing the W and the A and S key to turn in certain directions. So in other words, if you're going forward with the W key and you hit the A key while you're going forward, it should steer you to port and it doesn't. I mean, if it does, it very slightly. Uh, so steering the rowboat is a little tricky. Um, the boat's good. I mean, it's steered perfect. I have to get used to the controls. So that was 8 knots, not 5, because the zero is down here. And you have your fuel display. Cool little horn. Something is in the way. Not sure what that means. Docking. Uh, the first time I docked the boat, that was really tough. Uh, but again, I'm not. I don't know the controls very well, so we'll let that go with that and say that was a my learning curve. And the graphics are a lot like, um, you know, like I said, fish in barren sea, and uh, the water is pretty cool. I may have to tweak the graphics a little bit. I do have a half-decent graphics card and my computer doesn't seem to be straining too hard. Uh, video. Windowed. That's all the way up. Text block. I don't know what that means. I don't need text block, so... Up to the corner, set the corner the level of upscaling and higher quality levels can improve. That's okay. Can I turn that up? Let's see what that looks like. Do I have to restart the game? That's better. That's much better. And it doesn't seem to be straining the game. Oh, that's much better. The boat looks better. Everything looks better. Boat is in perfect condition. Yeah, I like that. Now, like I said, I don't know what graphics card I have, but I can play any game with this graphics card, and it, it doesn't, it never has any issues. And I've had it for about <laughs> a year. Um, so definitely turn the graphics up if your computer can handle it, because that's 100% better. Alright, since again, this is Navy Old Salt Gamer. I will be doing this video series on this game, so if you want to follow along um, before you buy it, I'll cover everything, and I will be honest. And like I said the first time I ran this video, uh, all I... Now, how do I put this away? How do I unequip my... Probably I'm in the tutorial not to catch two more fishes. But let's look in here now that I've changed the video. Oh, look at that. That's a hundred percent better. So, like I said, if your the graphics card can handle it, turn the video up. Much better. Okay. Uh, again, maybe we'll talk gamer. Uh, subscribe and like my channel. If you want to see more of these, I do do other games. I do do I do other games? Uh, but I try and keep them interesting. Uh, this one I figured would be a little bit long. I'll do another one tomorrow after I finish this tutorial and uh, maybe try some other things, and I'll let you know how that goes. So again, maybe I'll talk gaming. You have a good day.